What happens when you take the most difficult problems in the world and you give them to some of the smartest programmers in the world? I'm definitely not one of the smartest programmers in the world myself, but today I'm here at the ICPC Challenge Championship of 2025 in Shanghai, where some of the world's top algorithmic and mathematical talents from 30 plus countries are going head to head to solve cutting edge problems in programming for some cash prizes. Over the next few days, I will take you behind the scenes to show you what it's like to compete in an event like this and give my thoughts as a programmer myself on whether this is something that could actually help you in your career. But the opening ceremony is just about to start behind me, so let's take a look what happens. Since 2019, Huawei has partnered with ICPC to present industry-inspired problem-solving challenges around the world. But this event is about much more than trophies. The real goal is to develop human problem-solving ability. But you may wonder, in the age of AI, does this even matter anymore? While Huawei themselves build advanced AI models, they still emphasize growing human talent for the whole industry. Later at the technical salon, we got to learn more about the next frontiers in AI, from the evolution of AI compilers to the evolution of AI agents that can autonomously improve their reasoning. So the competition is about to start the rules are they can use anything in their laptop they can use search engines but they cannot use ai tools and they cannot use social networks let's see who wins unlike typical programming competitions that end at pass or fail icpc encourages continuous improvement which means that the teams can actually submit multiple solutions continually improving them towards optimal performance okay so today we are speaking with wang zheng who's actually one of the people who is setting the question for this year's challenge so can you talk to us briefly about the challenge in this year's championship and how did you approach setting this question? Uh, for this year, ICPC Huawei Challenge is for the memory management for large language models. And then the problem is mainly based on our uh, daily business. For example, we have the Huawei AI agents and uh, we also have the Xiaoyi AI assistant in our smartphones. And what are the skills that you're looking to test in the students when you are setting these questions? I think the core uh, techniques is how to design the approximate algorithms efficiently. For example, it involves the techniques like data structure design and uh, search algorithm and uh, how to design a good prompt for language model generation. But before we see who wins, you might be wondering what it actually takes to succeed in a competition like this. Luckily, I got to speak to a previous champion of this event to give his tips on how to solve difficult programming problems. What would you say made you be able to succeed so quickly and like do you have any tips for someone who's perhaps new to programming right now and wants to get into perhaps competitive programming? The best thing you can do is um, think about the problem for a very very long time and yeah. try many different approaches and because uh, I was already an engineer solving problems is already part of what we usually do mm -hmm. is a skill that you could translate from my field to uh, mm -hmm. algorithm and I guess it maybe works the other way as well. Like by competing in competitive programming, you become a better problem solver, which you can then apply also in many areas, would you say? Yes, I would yeah. say definitely that being able to solve hard problems or have a logical thinking is a skill that can apply to many different fields, of course. How do you in general approach solving a very difficult problem? I think that a good way is to always start a very simple solution. It helps you to better understand the problem. Even if your initial solution fails, when you see it fail, you understand it why, and then, then you can solve this problem step by step. Three, two, one, zero. The is over. That's him. You came second. I didn't have uh, much uh, progress last hour. Was it difficult? It's pretty difficult, but yeah, I'm quite satisfied. After five intense hours, the students finally got a well-deserved break where they got to explore Huawei's Liangchu Lake R&D Center where the competition was held. Their R&D center is so big, they literally need a train take your up. Before the winner was announced in the Solutions Roadshow, teams got the chance to present their approaches to the competition problems and explore how to optimize the solutions even further. And at the closing ceremony, we got to hear even more interesting talks about new things that Huawei is building. But now it is time to announce the champion. Congratulations to the winner. And if you're wondering how to get to the same level, what I have from everyone is that getting to this level is just about practice. The ICPC challenge is really about making you better as a programmer. And on top of that, it's a very nice experience where you can meet like-minded people, get mentorship, and even learn about different cultures. Thank you for Huawei for partnering with me and bringing me here. And who knows, maybe I'll see you here next year.